We are still in the holiday spirit and season, and we have something to do for you today that my mom used to do all the time. It was not Christmas without mom's eggnog. Now we have to make it a little different because they don't recommend that you eat a raw egg anymore, so it has to be cooked. But it's still gonna taste every bit as good. So we're gonna get right to it. I already separated out six egg yolks, six large egg yolks. There's six in there, that one just broke on me. Then we have a half a cup of sugar we're gonna dump in here. And we are going to whisk together the sugar and these eggs. I'm not trying to necessarily like beat everything together, but we need to get it to the point where it's smooth and it looks kind of fluffy. Almost looks like lemon, lemon curd. Pie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, almost looks like lemon curd. So that's good. Now this is gonna sit and I'm gonna get my pot out and we're gonna go to the stove and we will come back to this. Okay, so this is the second part. In this pot, and yeah, I already turned it on so it can warm up. We're gonna put in a cup of heavy cream, whipping cream. Same thing. Oh, Gino, you know what? I bet this not open. Oh, I'll get it for you. There's probably a... A little pull thingy. Yeah. That's okay. We can let this cream drain a little bit. There you go. Okay, <laughs> and two cups of half and half. We're putting this in a pot and we're going to heat it on medium high heat. I think, get that back on there. <clears throat> Not one handed. We're also going to put in here a pinch of salt. If I can get to it. Not a whole lot of room in here for storing anything. And we've got lots of cooking stuff. So we're just going to put in a pinch of salt and a half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. That's traditionally what's in it. If you don't like nutmeg, you could probably put cinnamon in, in it instead, but it won't taste the same. And we're gonna heat this on medium high heat. Mix it up. Nothing better than Homemade Sipping eggnog. on eggnog on Christmas Eve by the tree. It's awesome. Yep. And this is going to take a while on the stove, but when we get to the point where there's something for you to see, well, you'll see it. I promise. Okay, so we have been heating for exactly 10 minutes, um, but I didn't have it up to medium high the whole time because... I didn't know how the stove actually cooked. So I'm going to take this off of here and I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, down to medium. What we need to do now, I stirred this the whole time to begin with, with this because you don't want to scald milk. So that's why I stirred it with this. Let's set this back here because we'll use that again later. Take my lid. If I were to dump this hot liquid into these egg yolks, it would make scrambled eggs immediately. So what we have to do is we have to do what they call tempering eggs. So we're going to take a tablespoon of this hot mixture and we're going to drizzle it in here and stir it up while we drizzle it in here. And we're going to do this with a bunch of this because we need to, we need to get enough of this liquid in here and bring the temperature of these egg yolks up slowly so they don't scramble. Because scrambled eggnog isn't very good. <laughs> I don't like chunky eggnog. Not unless you put bacon and cheese on it. This is the same process you do when you make um, like a coconut cream or a banana cream pie. It's exactly the same. Now 
And it's not like you have to beat it into it or anything. You're just adding it slow and whisking. But all the time, whisking. Don't stop. Don't stop moving. It would be a good place to put your sous chef. You could have them. <laughs> <laughs> you could have them whisk or drizzle the milk mixture in. Would you like no, for me I'm to good. step out from behind I'm here good. and drizzle for you? But you know, but you? You, I mean, if you if you have kids, you know, you could older kids, you know, you could have them do the whisking while you put it in. A little chunk of nutmeg. It's kind of like. Patting your head and rubbing your stomach, isn't it? <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> so you can see, the more I get in here, I don't have to be quite because because it's more fluid and it mixes easier. I don't have to be quite so careful about putting it in too much too fast. I mean, you can still get too much in too fast for sure, but. When you're first starting, it's really thick, so you're not stirring. You're not moving much liquid when you're stirring. And we're going to do this until we get this all incorporated in here, and then we're going to put it back in this pot, and we're going to cook it. We have to bring it up to 160 degrees because that pasteurizes the eggs, the egg yolks. Years ago, um, when Mom used to make this for us, we didn't worry about that. But I can't tell you to do it that way because if I do and somebody gets sick, then I'm in trouble. So what we used to do is we used to take the milk mixture and the egg, beat the egg yolks, take the milk mixture, add the milk and the sugar and the egg yolks and the cream and the uh, half and half and the nutmeg. And we put a little cinnamon in here too. Uh, cinnamon and we just mix it all together. You know, beat your egg yolks, dump them in along with the sugar and the milk, and it, 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 never, it never got heated. We just did it, and then we drank it. But times have changed. Times have definitely changed. You know, we also used to cold can green beans, and apparently you can't cold pack a green bean right. anymore. It has to be done in a pressure canner. Drink water out of a garden hose, all those dangerous things. Drink water out of a well. <laughs> Shoot, I drank water out of the creek. You know. You know, and if you didn't want to mess with doing this, you could let this milk mixture totally cool down, I guess, and then mix it together. And no, that wouldn't work because your eggs wouldn't be tempered. Never mind, that would not work. You've got to temper your eggs, or when you go to cook this, to pasteurize the egg yolks, they, they will scramble. So there is no shortcut. This is just how we have to do it now, unless you just want to make them and not cook them. Not the recommended method. No. I'd how about it. if I, uh, since you're getting so low there, how about if I come over and just gradually pour that you top that. in there while you stir? You could do that. Set that in the sink first, please. <clears throat> Hold up now. I still can't let it get too hot too fast. Okay, go ahead. And then set it back on that burner when you're done. It doesn't matter if that's all out of there. We're dumping this back in there. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to dump this back into here because now we have to heat it to pasteurize the eggs. And we're just going to cook this 
until if you want to put a thermometer in it, until it gets to be about 160 degrees. I'm just going to go by the thickness of it because it will get thicker as it cooks. Hey everyone. We both hope you've enjoyed this Christmas at the Cabin series as much as we've enjoyed making it and bringing it to you. And there's no better way to finish out the Christmas season than with the toast. Through the Woods 360 toasts all you guys. We pray that you have a fantastic Christmas like we've had and that you have a healthy and prosperous new year and we'll see you in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers, Mom.